my next guest is John Fidello. John, you are have been in your business for over 30 years, and you are the owner of Fidello Health and Employee Benefit Services. And John, the last time you were on, there's so much that was going on. You know, yeah. you and I have been talking about you coming back on the show, and they're sure. like, I don't know what's going on with the, you know, with the election. We don't know whether or not they're going to be carrying. Uh, continuing with the Affordable Care Act, and right. then they were, and then so much is going on. You help people understand a very complicated subject, right? can be convoluted and a little complicated. You Get know, up what, on the mic so everybody can hear. What, what people need to understand, well, for one, going back to what you had just mentioned, the Biden administration opened up the Affordable Care Act from February 15th through May 15th, so that is available. But there's things, there's variables you need to understand about how that works, okay? If you choose a plan on the exchange, it's an HMO option only, which simply means that you have to pick a prime, well, you have a primary care doctor that has to give you permission to go to a specialist. Normally people don't like that type of a, a setup. You know, the, the other option is to have a PPO option. And there are options off the exchange for people that, uh, you know, depending upon where they are with their income and health, there are other options to possibly consider. You know, go ahead. The exchange, I mean, it's great because any and all, if you have some serious health issues, it picks up any and all health, pre existing health conditions from day one. And, you know, depending upon what your income is, you could potentially qualify for a subsidy. That means you can get help towards that premium from the government. But then I always tell people if you're self employed, it could be a double edged sword. I had a I was at a meeting and a, a lady came up to me and said, look, I need to talk to you. I was on the exchange. Myself and my husband are in business together. We're in real estate. We sold an extra two homes. And then I had to give the subsidy that we took. I had to write a $14,000 check plus interest back to the government because we went, you know, we crossed a certain income barrier. So you need to understand all these variables before you make a decision. I think the best thing to do is to talk to you and have that conversation because for you, it's a free con conversation with them. You are no obligation. You right. just want to sit down and talk to them and find out where they stand because you can most likely help them save money or understand what they might need to balance out, right? To right. balance out what they might even already have. Right. As, in other words, if I'm talking with somebody, I'm going to help them understand all the different variables, the exchange. There's uh, uh, health care cost-sharing plans that are out there. And, and some of these options have limitations. You have to understand what you're getting involved with. Like, for instance, I had a guy that I was on a hike with the other day. So he said, look, can you look into this for me? He's 57 years old. He has two kids. One's 13, one's 17. So I kind of narrowed down three different options where uh, the premium range was from 585 a month up to the exchange, which he didn't qualify for a subsidy. So those premiums are pretty steep on the exchange for what I consider to be a limited benefit. So he was looking at 1169 on the exchange with a high deductible, a very high deductible, as to where the other two options that I had had a zero deductible for a hospital stay and a zero deductible for pretty generous surgical benefit. Well, I think that's the best reason to talk to you right there. Yeah. I mean, you were he, that guy was going to have to pay quite a bit of money where you found him with something with zero deductible, right? Which everyone I know will say, I have catastrophic health insurance, which right. means I have to die, basically, <laughs> before I can even use it. Right, right. You know, um, the, you know, going back to the exchange, and again... I don't mean any disrespect for the exchange. I mean, there's a lot of really great things, and it's kind of a work in progress. But the way it's set up is that the least expensive of what they call these bronze plans have an $8,550 deductible before they pay for anything, even lab work or MRIs or CAT scans, these types of things, you know. If your health is good, you can qualify for another type of a PPO plan where uh, these are picked up with a zero deductible. Now, the, what is it? P there, are there specific requirements for people to enroll? Uh, no. Well, you know, the way that the exchanges has been reopened, uh, there is no special requirement in terms of 
some type of a life change, like if you move from another state or if you adopted a child. In other words, with the exchange, there are certain things, you know, that would qualify under what they call a special enrollment. But now the Biden administration opened this up from February 15th through May 15th, and those those special requirements are waived. Basically. They're waived. Yeah, yeah. Now, when you work with people, this is a free consultation that you do for everyone. Everything that you do is free for them. Yeah. You it, do the work for them because you're getting paid on the other end. Right. I can I can help people understand their options on the exchange, and I can help them understand individual options. One of the biggest things that I run into, two, two areas that I run into with the exchange, is because of the way it's structured, there's a kind of a delay in doctors getting reimbursed. I have a number of doctors who are clients who don't accept the Affordable Care Act, and I'm finding that's, that's becoming more commonplace, right? I had a client that came off of a group plan, had a more, you know, has been dealing with a more serious health issue. She rings me up and says, look, Blue Cross and Blue Shield is on the exchange, and, and my doctor, my rheumatologist takes Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So I said, well, not necessarily. I said, call first and make sure that that's the case. And she called me 10 minutes later and she said, you know, no, they don't take it. And, um, you know, which is a bit frustrating. But just know in advance, on the exchange, the networks of doctors and hospitals are quite a bit more narrow than if you would have had a PPO option. I think having a conversation with you is the best thing because you know the insides and outs. I mean, you've been doing this for over 30 years, so you can have, anybody can just, you know, talk to him, tell him your story, and everybody has a different story, right? right? And uh, the phone number to call you direct, it's 480-205-8806. His website is healthcaresimplified.info. So healthcaresimplified.info. You can also check him out on LinkedIn. He's everywhere there. Uh, and again, we're going to spell it out. It's F-I-D-E-L-O. So John yeah. Fidello. Uh, I did it wrong the last time. And I, you said everybody always does that. But now I'll never forget. So F-I-D-E-L-O, John Fidello. You can check him out on LinkedIn. You can go up onto his website, healthcaresimplified.info. You can call him. This is a free service to you, 480-205-8806. Um, so most importantly, the people that they need to understand about the coverage through the Affordable Care Act is what? Uh, it's, you know, it's an HMO, um, meaning that you have, you know, to fall under the auspices of a primary care doctor. You can't just pick and choose. When you have a PPO, if you pick a doctor and you go, even a primary care doctor, if you don't like the doctor, you just can go pick another one. If you need a specialist, you go and pick a specialist where the insurance company in the HMO really has more control of the level of care. But that's a whole other discussion. But what we'll I've been, talk about that another you know, time. What I've, run into, what I've been running into more is people will call me and say, you know, can you refer me an internist? Because my, inter my doc was a part of Ambetter and then they no longer accept the Affordable Care Act plan that that I chose. So, but you can do that too for people, yeah. if need be. Yeah. So, you wanted to also talk a little bit about employees and their and their benefits too, really quickly. Well, yeah, it, you know, in the small group market, I'm really excited. There's some really interesting things going on with these companies, and I'm dealing. You know, I can give you an example. I'm dealing with a, a solar company has about 18 employees, and wanted to run. Initially, the owner was like, you know what, I want just if the price is right, I may consider it. And his agenda in the initially was to have the cheapest possible price. So what I did, what I explained was, I don't have allegiance to any of these companies. I'm going to spreadsheet out based on our discussion, the top four or five based on price. But then we'll compare networks of doctors and hospitals and the actual value. So to make a long story short, really old and great insurance company Aetna came in and they were the most competitive price-wise for an individual employee. $8,500 deductible, deductible on prescriptions, $60 copay for a primary care doctor, $120 for a specialist. I had another program that it worked out, the deductible for the employees was $2,000 less, $5 copay for primary care, $50 for a specialist. And this program picked up naturopath, which is very popular with folks, very good chiropractic benefit, and also... Um, an acupuncture benefit, which major insurance companies normally don't pick up. 
So you kind of have to, you know, if you go benefit for benefit, yeah, price is important, but then the value has got to come in. Right, and that's where you can come in and you can help them. It's too hard to do it on your own. Uh, you know, especially when you get in there, it, it gets very confusing. And they're going to try and get you into their their product, right? Yeah, and, and I'm licensed with 31 of these companies. I don't have allegiance to these companies. I'm not the old state guy or the state farm guy. Not that those aren't great companies. Right. Um, but I'm not a, what they call a career agent. I function as a broker. So, you know, if you specifically tell me that you want Aetna, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want, he could do for you. He's been doing this for over 30 years. Call him direct at 480-205-8806. Check him out on LinkedIn and John Fidelo, F-I-D-E-L-O. Also on his, his website, which is healthcaresimplified.info. Don't forget, it's healthcaresimplified.info. This is a free service to you there. I mean, really, to me, it's worth it to have that conversation with you. Find out where you stand. He will help you. He'll do all the work for you. That's what he does. And again, call him direct at 480-205-8806. It's healthcaresimplified.info.